paddy rack. Huh? This is justice? This is cat Sir, Excuse me? When we first showed you this video yesterday, the focus was on the conduct of the police officers doing the arrest. Tonight, we are learning about the man you see pinned down on the ground. And what we're learning is disturbing. The man whose arrest has caused lots of criticism and questions about how Toronto police handled themselves has a very long and very violent history with the law. His name is Andrew Henry. Police were so concerned about the 43-year-old potentially becoming violent that he didn't actually appear in court, but was processed via video from a basement cell inside the College Park Courthouse today. Henry stood with his back to the camera, head down, hands behind his back, and refused to answer the judge as police laid nine charges against him, including three counts of assaulting a peace officer. He's down and they chased him? Henry, who was pinned to the ground near Dundas and Church, and tasered twice by police has a disturbing criminal history. In 98, he was convicted of sexual assault and received 12 months probation and a suspended sentence. Four years later, he was convicted of making and publishing child pornography, serving four months in jail and placed on the sex offender registry for 10 years. Henry also has other charges of theft and assault. Despite the man's lengthy criminal history, there are concerns about what happened when his arrest went down. Okay, well, if you're a witness, then we're going to be seizing your cell phone. So what'd you say? The man who took this video told City News today that he plans to file an official complaint against Toronto Police to the Independent Police Review Directory. One is the fact that they told me that I could not record and that they would take my phone. The sergeant that said, get this guy out of my face. Get that guy out of my face, please. And four, for the HIV phobic comment that the police officer made. He's going to spit in your face, you're going to get AIDS. Stop okay. recording or I'm going to seize your phone as evidence. And then you were scared? Yeah, scared enough to leave. City News has learned that many complaints to the Independent Police Review Director are often sent back to local police forces. The complaint originates. As with everything, they have budget constraints. So as it works now, if somebody makes a complaint, that complaint through the um, OIPRD is generally referred back to the police force which the complaint is about, um, and they investigate that. I think that's, uh, that's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, you can't investigate yourself if you did something wrong. That's, that's crazy. As for Andrew Henry, he will be appearing again tomorrow in court as they try to get him to communicate with the judge. And over to Shauna Hutton. Shauna, you've been looking closer into those officers seen in the controversial video.